Well, tonight, dozens of Arvin homeowners remain homeless, so to speak, after spending the better part of two months with family in hotel rooms and apartments. Good evening. I'm Jackie Parks. And I'm Todd Carley. Those residents have received no word when they can return to their home following that gas leak in their neighborhood. 23 ABC's Leslie Marine is live tonight. She spoke to county officials. She joins us from that area, which is now taped off with what that next step may be. Todd, Jackie, last night's Arvin City Council meeting left residents at these homes frustrated. The county officials say that they're expecting answers in the next 24 hours or they'll take matters into their own hands. Ask questions. We're not getting the questions we want. Last night's meeting left even more unanswered questions in the minds of residents evacuated from their homes nearly seven weeks ago. When the homeowners could return, what potentially were they exposed to? What was the duration of the leak? But now county officials will demand explanations. It has been now nearly two months. Folks want to know what's going on in their homes. It's totally reasonable and totally fair to uh, make that request. The company responsible for the gas leak, Petro Capital Resources, has yet to come out to homeowners with information. But I think it's a good time for us to share the data to explain where we've been and where we need to go. Although they say they'll share the human health risk assessment with residents and county officials once complete, leaders aren't waiting. I should know within 24 hours and we're prepared to release it. Lawyers are currently looking at whether the data is privately owned by PCR. If not, they will release the information to residents tomorrow. We certainly don't want this to go to litigation and to lawsuits. Uh, we just need to work together with one community. And a community residents are hoping to soon rebuild. As you can see, homes remain taped off tonight. We did reach out to PCR, who told us they have been working on remediation efforts. They don't have a specific timeline on when residents will return home, but they will continue updating residents on what the situation and what data they find from this area. Back to you guys.